One of the best things that you can do to practice on defense is to work the slip rope. We're gonna go through a simple, basic footwork movement and drill where we're gonna be combining our punches with our rolling and even into a pivot. Basic footwork at its finest, but all in all, I'm just moving right to left and left to right. Make a miss, make them pay. Let's start it off easy, two punches on that side. Let's go, two punches and roll. Two punches, roll. Sometimes you roll off of that lead hand. Sometimes you roll off of that rear hand. Switch it out. Oi. Two punches. I, oh, the hat. The hat got us caught. Push ups. <laughs> Give me 25, dog. Hey. Cool. I'm uh, telling you right now, that's why it's important when you seven. do this to bend your knees, not your back. Aaron's over here like an old man bending his back. You gotta bend your knees like this. In order to bend your knees, you need that leg strength. Three, two, one. One, good stuff. Again, a little bit more broken down. Let's go a little bit more macro. On this position, I wanna be close to the slip rope. There's no reason for you to slip and roll all the way here. I don't need to get all the way down in this position. Boxing is a game of inches. So you only need to be about an inch away from that position. As I get low, I wanna use my feet, my hips, as well as my head without looking down where I'll be probably get knocked out, so let's be real. Keep those eyes up, and as you roll, you wanna make sure that you're balanced and positioned to come back here. So, there's a lot of intricacies to this, but the biggest thing is to work and to make progress. So, work where you feel comfortable and get better at it. Once you feel comfortable to start adding counters and movements forward and back, then maybe you can put the blindfold on and have a little fun practicing, hitting, and not getting hit. <laughs> I was like, I was like, he hit me like four times. I can't work like this. Take two. 